Hello everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Shop Social with Kim. Super excited that you have joined us. My apologies for the delay. Uh, a few snafus when we were setting up. My tripod has seemed to be disappeared and it seems to be nowhere to be found. So uh, yeah, that was part of the big problem. So I apologize for being late this evening. We will try to speed this up and get you uh, out and about by eight o'clock as usual. So yeah, so I was like at 6, 6.55, I'm like, I'm ready to go. And then all of a sudden it's nowhere. So I apologize for that. Anyways, we are here now. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, for those just joining for the very first time, um, hello, my name is Kim. You're joining Johnson's in Gimli, Manitoba. We are super excited to have you with us. And this evening, as the title suggests, we are going to be uh, talking about fashion essentials for the winter. So it's definitely, uh, I don't know if it's cold where you are, but it is cold where we are. So all of a sudden you went to bed one evening, it was fall, you got up the next morning and it was winter. So uh, what we pulled together this evening is a selection of winter jackets that are kind of fun and yet s still super um, warm. And then we also have some winter boots. So I do have my camera perched fairly precariously. So I'm going to bring, um, I'm going to bring the boots over here and then the jackets are behind me. So, um, yeah, so I have my, I have my backdrop all set up. <laughs> uh, life happens sometimes. Okay. Uh, so first of all, last week we had Blingo. So thank you so much, uh, for those who are, who are joined us for Blingo. We had lots of, we had lots of winners. I think we might've had six, seven, eight or nine winners. So that was awesome. Um, and we will also be drawing a $25 gift card for that as well. And um, we will also be drawing for the, the gift card for the week before. So for the September, October 11th episode, which is our What's New This Week, our beautiful Boots Fall edition, uh, we'll be drawing for that as well. Okay, so first of all, um, we'll do the draws. Then the housekeeping uh, for this evening is going to be super short. So for those who didn't realize or hasn't haven't heard yet um, our blingo sold out for november in less than 24 hours unbelievably so i sincerely apologize to everyone who was not able to get a box this month who wanted one uh never in my wildest dreams did i think that would happen when i started in january so i am just super shocked <laughs> so that's where the subscription is going to come in nicely so if you subscribe from a month to month basis you have the option to pause or um, if you're going to be away or you can't do it one month, but at least then if you'll, you'll always get a box. So the month to month is really good for that. So we'll be launching our subscription options on Black Friday. So stay tuned for that as well. We will be offering um, a Blingo mystery box as part of our Black Friday promotion. So we always do a couple of different things um, on Black Friday. And this year we're going to kind of put together almost like a grab bag. So every, we're going to, um, Every Blingo box will have probably three to four to five items, depending. They're going to be $25 and the value is going to be $50 or more. And there will also be um, some entire boxes as well. So if you're someone who maybe didn't get a box earlier in the year, you do have the, the chance to get a full, like let's say full February box, full March box. Um, if we have three or four left over, we would let those go in their entirety. So it's like a hundred dollar value for $25 and we are going to be doing a new coupon for that as well. So stay tuned for that. We are not taking pre-orders for the uh, mystery boxes because we don't know how many of them we're going to have. So we're just going to pull out all of our Blingo goodies and then um, we'll let you know that the week of Black Friday. So the Wednesday, Shop Social with Kim on the Wednesday, um, we'll kind of give you a little bit more details and we will release them online as well as in store. So every order, every box will have a number, um, not connected to a prize or anything, but every box will be numbered and every order will be numbered. So that's how you know who gets what box. So yeah, I think it's gonna, just going to be a fun little extra Black Friday. So if you're going to buy like, let's say box one, two, three, and four, they'll be all different. So no two boxes will be the same. So for a hundred bucks, you can probably get 12 or 15 stocking stuffers done. So like, it's kind of a good, it's a perfect time of year to do it. And it's a kind of a win-win for, for everybody. So yeah, so I'm excited for that. 
Um, okay, so without further ado, since I was late getting on this morning, or this afternoon, or this evening, where are we? <laughs> it's like, what time are we at? Um, let's do our weekly winners. Okay, so from October 11th, we have, um, our bonus question was, are your sandals put away? Uh, most people said no, so we had twice as many people that said no to yes. So I would be willing to bet as of this evening, though, most of us have put our sandals away. So we have 78 um, comments. So if I could please have someone post a number between one and 78, that will be our $25 Blingo winner. I'm just gonna grab a pen while you girls post that. Just give me a quick second here. Okay, first number I see is Karen Namiuk, and that's number 67. Okay, since I got my new glasses, I can actually see everything now, amazing. Number 67 is Katherine Robertson, and her comment was, watching live from Winnipeg, sandals out until next week. So, congratulations, Katherine. And, oh, another super exciting thing, 67. Another super exciting thing is by next week, we will have um, a bridge Wi-Fi, so we will actually be a lot clearer um, on our cat on our phone, and um, we'll be able to upload some more clear videos for YouTube as well. So we are uploading all of our um, all of our videos to YouTube now. So if you have someone in your life who's not on Facebook and still wants to kind of watch and play along. Uh, we're happy to uh, to let you guys know that we do have everything on YouTube now. Okay, and then uh, from last week, which is our Blingo uh, $25 gift card as well. This one, we have lots of comments. We have, uh, let's see here. We have 188 comments, and that is excluding our comments for posting what the numbers are. Uh, so, okay, so if someone could please post a number between 1 and 188. That will be our next winner from last week. Okay, Danette, number 17. Okay, number 17 is Heather Yonason. And Heather was also our, our uh, Share to Win winner last week. So she had double lucky blingo. Okay, so Heather, and that was her comment from, oh, that must have been her, uh, she said thanks very much for her comment. And that was probably from when she won Share to Win. So. Heather number 17. So thanks you guys. Okay, so let's head right into, we're gonna do jackets first and then we'll finish off with our boots. Um, one of the things that we are kind of focusing on this year is color. So I don't know if you can see a little bit behind me, not everything here is black. So I think it's a really, most of us have black, black or black uh, when it comes to outerwear. And I think it's really nice to be able to inject some color into your wardrobe that you wear all the time. So think about, um, I'm just gonna see if I can lower us a little bit here. Sorry, this is not my normal, uh, this is not my normal tripod. Let's see if we can get us back here. There we go, there, that's better. Um, so yeah, when you're thinking about outerwear, most of us tend to say, well, black matches everything and that kind of thing. But the thing is, it's a long winter to wear just black, right? So we did pick some black options, but we certainly did pick also some ones with some nice colors. So let's launch right into it. I'm gonna give you um, kind of a bit of a high level. And some of these you may have seen before in previous videos, but they're definitely worth sharing again. So first of all, we have our two printed pieces. So this is a Dolceza. And the nice thing about this is it's sort of a medium weight. So I think right now this would be an awesome, um, weight to wear it's nicely stitched so sometimes you don't have that abominable snowman kind of look uh it's this is a really nice uh flat puffer it does come with a hood the hood is removable and kind of a nice print this is the one of the ones that does this is um has the artist on here oh well this one is made by an artist but this one I guess on the outerwear pieces they don't have the actual painting so we do have a painting that actually goes with this so it's kind of cool okay so that guy and sizes generally are from small to 2xl 
we don't have we don't have multiples of everything so for winter jackets we generally tend to do one maximum two we can lots of times special order as well so just fyi okay so this is also dolcezza in the heavier weight so you'll notice definitely a lot more um, room between the stitching lines which does tend to be a little bit puffier and so this is more of your 40 below it's i'm shoveling jacket Still a really nice print, great with jeans, even great with these pants that I'm wearing in the burgundy. And I like it because again, it has that warmth, but still gives you a little bit of fashion sense as well. Okay, then Dolcezza also does kind of a coated, what's the best way to describe it? It's like a coated nylon basically, but it's not super stiff. So it's kind of a pliable nylon and definitely a fun little pocket. I like that this has a black accent. So the black accents really add a bit to this color and especially draw your eye down um, for the zipper. So kind of a, like a champagne taupe color, removable hood, but a really nice, super warm jacket. I know this morning, yesterday morning, I went out without a jacket and I'm like, hey, this is the last morning I'm doing that. So I went home at lunch, put a jacket on, um, but it's just very, it's so chilly now that you can't imagine it's not going to be full on winter now. Okay. So in the other colorway, we have the little black and this one is kind of boring in the front party in the back. So it's got a great little lining. I'm going to undo it just so you can see the lining. Like, isn't that an amazing lining? Like almost enough reason to buy the jacket itself, right? Not reversible, just a super fun lining. So for those of, you, those of you who are still thinking, I really do want a black jacket, this is great because you do have a little bit of fun going on as well. Okay, then we have our Franson um, Heavyweight. So again, Franson is a Danish company. The, the quality is second to none. All of the hardware is amazing. The zippers are amazing. Um, definitely a more classic style. And they do have a wide range of um, wait, so this one has been really good. Just a nice basic parka. Not super uh, like puffy when it comes to like, it doesn't have a lot of stitching lines, but it is a really nice polyfill. So kind of like a traditional parka style, but a nice um, color. Again, that's not black. And then in the Franson, we also have a little shorter one. This one's nice. I'm actually gonna show you a little bit closer up. You can kind of see it has almost like a jacquard print on it, like black on black. There, that's maybe a better option. Just gives you a little bit of splash and dash. Very, very cozy though. And a nice hip length, kind of a fingertip length jacket. This is my personal favorite, Kim's pick for sure. I love this color. So this is sort of a traditional puffer. Again, Franson, fingertip length, great for your dog walker or your, you know, someone who walks in the morning and you're wanting just that little bit longer length. Uh, this is a really beautiful style and such a great color, right? I just love the color. Okay. And then next we have a little navy. This one has kind of a cute um, side panel on it. And this is actually elastic. So if you're an apple shape and you're wanting to kind of have something that draws your waist in a little bit, this would be a good choice. It does have a hood that is removable, all polyfill, really slimming on the back. It's got a, a really nice uh, style lines on the back. And again, just that little bit brighter, still basic in navy, but it's a, just a little bit brighter color. And another little shorty, but again, great style lines on here. Not short, not, not super short, more like a fingertip length. This one is a really pretty color though. And removable fur and removable hood. So I know that's important because a lot of times if you're like going to Winnipeg for an appointment or whatever, or you're out and about shopping, you don't want necessarily a big hood or, and, or a big fur. So it's nice to have those removable pieces and very slimming kind of with that um, half moon kind of embroidery. So yeah, kind of a charcoal-y grease color. 
and this one I love this color so it's like as soon as I put this color up it just makes me happy <laughs> um, so this one is tribal so it comes small to 2xl again I like that little bit of a black hardware very slimming and just kind of takes like bisects your body a little bit so really nice and flattering I love this one I might actually buy that jacket it's just such a nice color it also has a storm cuff so if you're a walker these are all neoprene handy because sometimes when you're walking it the, the wind just goes right up your wrist oh makes you feel freezing but yeah this is definitely an excellent winter jacket if you're going to be outside for an extended period of time um, I believe it's a poly down combination and these guys we just got in in the last couple of days. These ones are, the, the brand is Arctic Expedition. It's made by a company called Capital Garment that is, we've had for a hundred years, but every, but they do have lots and lots of different um, brands. So this is their warmest brand. And this is kind of like, it's a really interesting color combination. So the trim is gold, but this is almost like, it's olive, but it's not, greeny olive it's more like a yellow olive so it's an interesting color uh, definitely warm knee length really nice style lines so again that's your if you're a winter dog walker you're out for a couple of hours you're an ice fisher um, you're just embracing the outdoors definitely this is a great option speaking of embracing the outdoors that was gonna be our question and I forgot to say it earlier if you're watching the replay or if you're watching live, you can always answer after. Um, are you someone who embraces outdoor activities or are you someone who stays indoors and embraces indoor activity? So are you an indoor activity person or an outdoor activity person in the winter? So inquiring minds would like to know. Okay, so this is um, just a nice, very, very warm coat, but again, not black, right? And then also in the same coat, there's also a navy. So you can really see how much pile is in here. So it definitely is gonna give you that extra warmth. And also uh, a little neoprene. Embrace outdoor. Oh, Karen, good for you. Brenda, indoor by fireplace. Yes, moi as well. Um, and then, um, the hood comes off as well. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to go, I have a couple of dressier ones. So this is the same brand as well. Uh, this one we've had for the last couple of years in different sort of color options, different fabrications. This year they've really outdone themselves with the pink and the burgundy combination. It's also, I believe, it is reversible, so I will show you quickly how it reverses. I can get this undone with my nails. So that way, and then you can also reverse this to this way. So just a beautiful color palette. Just give me a little quick hits up here. So it wouldn't be quite as warm next to your skin, obviously, but it really changes the look of the coat to have that pink. There. Yeah. So like you would never even think it was the same coat, right? So I, this is definitely one of my Kim's picks as well. We had a really gorgeous black with sort of a shiny black fur last year. People really liked it. So this is the new color combination. Then there's also a similar one in more of a flat nylon. So this is not does not have a sheen. The other one has a sheen. So you can kind of see the difference. Um, it's more like it has almost like a sparkle kind of a finish on it. This one is more of a flat nylon, but similar type of um, option in that it is reversible as well. So that one, really gorgeous coat on, very elegant. If you're thinking of kind of like a, what we used to call like everyone had a dress coat and a pair of dress boots, like people don't do that anymore. But the odd time you do need something that is just a little bit dressier than a parka, right? Fly here. Uh, I'm just gonna undo this for you and then I'll show you the other colorway. Should have undone that in the first place. 
Okay. Wow, this is such a treat. I can actually like see every comment. <laughs> I don't have to take my glasses on, my glasses off. Okay. They say you never know what you can't see until you can see everything. <laughs> All right. And then, yeah, this one is also beautiful on the faux fur part. I almost prefer the faux fur, I think. So, like, how elegant is that? Like, I just love it. I was kicking myself I didn't buy that black one last year. Oh, so gorgeous. But this one is beautiful too. Yeah. Okay, so it comes in the burgundy and then also comes in the blue. So here's the blue and then the exact same front. So really pretty with jeans. Okay, so then we have our most, I would say most warmest, <laughs> double, double adjective, our super warm coat from Tribal. This is the sort of Cadillac piece from Tribal. Um, it has a combination of down and pile, I believe. And it has all of the bells and whistles. So it has removable fur, removable hood, tucks in really nice in the back to kind of give you a little bit of a waist. A little shorter than it, than it was last year. So every year we have a version of this coat. Last year it was a little bit sort of puffier and a little bit longer. This year it's a little bit shorter and kind of trimmer looking. So I love this color actually. This is a great coat. And just kind of really gives you that 40 below warmth with a bit of style. So you're not sort of in the abominable, sorry, my battery um, is a great option. Okay, I better rush, rush through the last few here because we're not gonna make it to boots at this rate. Okay, then we have, speaking of our abominable snowman, <laughs> we have one that is really puffy. This is our Arctic Expedition, the warmest you can get. Um, a nice straight cut, a little bit of a sheen to the fabric. Then we have a little tomato red one. And I like that kind of chevron, horizontal chevron kind of pattern. Just, just sort of makes that pile not look quite so puffy. And then we do, of course, have black, right? We're not gonna, we're not gonna not have any black. So this is one of the little Franson ones, super duper warm knee length. And the last one is our maxi puffer. This is sort of a hot fashion thing uh, this year. What size did she bring? I could have tried it on small, nope. Um, but yeah, really long. So it's almost like a midi, midi length, like kind of a mid calf. If you're shorter than me, it probably will be almost full length on you. So last year they were showing those maxi vests. So this year they did make it into a jacket. I think it's kind of a fun look. Um, it's definitely not an everyday jacket probably, unless you want a long jacket every day, but it is a nice option. Okay, so that's that. I'm just gonna grab a couple of boots to show you guys because I don't wanna twist my thing because for sure it will fall off <laughs> that way. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions on any of the jackets, most of them are not listed on the website. So feel free to screenshot it, send it to me um, on the Johnson's page. Um, and then I can certainly check sizes for you, price, all that kind of thing. The jackets tend to go pretty quickly and we only get two or three. So by the time I get them listed on the website, um, they're gone. So for that reason, we don't tend to have a lot of outerwear other than tribal, which we can replenish really easily. So yeah, if you have any questions about anything, you know, sizes or prices, happy to help or just give us a call. Um, screenshot is easiest because then, my, this fly loves me. Uh, screenshot is easiest because then we can actually know exactly which one you're talking about. So, okay. So we are going to really quickly uh, grab some boots here and I'm going to start with the tall. And tall boots are kind of one of those things that kind of come and go in fashion. But prairie people need a tall boot because there's lots of snow, right? So I like a tall boot for like what we were just saying before. Sometimes you just need a dress coat and a dress boot. The odd time you're going somewhere and you're like, hey, I can't wear my little mini ankle boots, right? So we have a couple of taller options for you. And I think we have two more coming that are not here yet. So um, just keep that in mind. So this is a mid, mid calf uh, Romante. So this is kind of that midi length as well. Lots and lots of this medium height boot. 
and uh, this one is definitely a bit more casual with that sort of sock style closure full zip on the other side not leather uh, but a very nice supple material then we have um, the next sort of dressier one is the Rom uh, Romica one and this is nice for an extended calf so for me I'm always looking for a wider calf boot um, and this is definitely going to be that boot for sure. So it's got lots and lots of flex, or if you're someone who wants to be able to tuck in your jeans, you can certainly do that. Uh, this is definitely Kim's pick for sure. Then we have, um, we just got this one in yesterday, actually, sort of what I would class as a traditional dress boot. So if you're thinking of, you know, like I want to wear it with a dress, I have a coat, I have an occasion, um, this would be a great option. So this also has a bit of a wide calf as well as a bit of extension here. So you can kind of see, oops, I got my zipper here. So you can kind of see that you're gonna get a bit of flex there as well. So really nice classic boot. This is Riker as well, but just a really nice option if you're gonna think about, you know, that little bit of a higher, um, heel, higher, higher height. I was, go I was going to say higher heel, but higher height. Okay, so we're gonna switch gears just momentarily and get into some kind of great for the snow, great for the ice, warm. So all the boots that I'm showing you today are warm. They're warm enough for snow. They're warm, they're, you know, no problem to get them wet. Some of the fall ones that we talked about in a previous week, like you gotta spray them, they're butter soft leather, they're not really meant for snow. So this is like the Canadian winter, right? So we definitely um, are going to be able to wear these all winter long. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so first we have a little Romica. These are mostly all waterproof that I'm showing you. Maybe a couple of them aren't tagged waterproof, but almost all waterproof. Okay, so first we have this one, and that's just a really nice, easy, traditional kind of hiking style. Quarter zip though, not all the way. So you will have the option to sort of go undo this, undo that, and then do it or up around your foot. But it's definitely something um, that may not fit everybody. Like I have a high arch, this may not work uh, for people with that. Then we have another little, this one's Riker, oh, Seibel. This one's just a Seibel. Kind of a nice little suede, full side zipper as well. Just that little bit of splash and dash with the, um, with the fur, you know, kind of just makes it look a little more fun. Then we have some of our white ones. So we have this one and we have another white one as well. Um, white is super popular in fashion. So for the second year in a, in a row, uh, we definitely have some white options. So I always hesitate for a white winter coat because like I am that person who like you're driving with coffee um, and it's one bump and coffee everywhere. So at least I can show this trend on my feet and have it a little bit more serviceable. <laughs> So we have this one, same as the uh, first, um, same as the first black boot that I showed you, quarter zip as well. And last but not least, this is a fun little hiker, kind of a good dog walking boot as well, not too high, waterproof. So tagged waterproof, great grip. Almost all the ones I'm showing you are going to have a really great grip on them, um, very tacky grip. So you should always look when you're uh, thinking about a new winter boot, make sure that it doesn't feel smooth on the bottom, like make sure it kind of has that little bit of a tackiness to it. Okay, so then we're gonna hop into the Heens. My backdrop would have been really helpful. <laughs> okay. So um, we're gonna start with the Cadillac in the Keens. And the reason for that is because this hiker is lined. So we have some Keens that are meant for all year round and some Keens that are meant for winter only. So when they say in the description, polar, anything that says polar is an insulated rated boot and the rating is on the box. So most people will, when they're starting to look for winter boots, will say, oh, I want a rated boot. So the only companies that have a rated boot are Baffin, which I'm going to show you one or two. Uh, we haven't got all our re replenishment in yet, but we do have some. Um, and Keen. So those, so the, the rating process for the companies to go through to actually be approved to rate boots is very extensive and very expensive. Oop, there went that. Um, so Baffin and um, Keen are the only ones right now that we have a rated boot. So this one I believe is a minus 38 boot. Lots and lots of bells and whistles, 100% waterproof, super great grip. 
And anything that says on the description WP means waterproof or polar means insulated. So this is the boot if you're walking on the ice, you're ice fishing, you're out walking like for a couple of hours, you're doing winter hiking, that's the boot. Okay, so then we have the regular, uh, we have this, the Circadia, which is a new one. We have it in the regular unlined hiker. So this is the regular year round hiker. Also a great grip. So if you're someone who, whose feet get hot or you wanna wear it like right now, um, you can layer an extra sock in it in, in December, but it's not gonna give you a rating. So the one that I showed you before is the rated boot. This is more of an everyday hiker. Then we also have this version, which is still called Circadia, but this one is the Polar. So this one is lined and it will give you a rating on it. Really nice color combination though, isn't it? Like it's not so, um, like it's casual, but it would still blend, I think with jeans or whatever you're wearing. Really great grip on it. All of the Keen have Vibram outsoles, so extremely great for slippage. Okay, then we have uh, the Targi, and this is our year-round hiker as well. This is something that you can wear in the summer with a wool sock, and it will still keep your feet uh, dry. So the Targi does come in a uh, mid-hiker, as you see it, or also in a runner. And this one is unlined as well, so you can wear this all year round. But great, I mean, will keep your feet 100% dry. And then just another play on our original um, tall ones. These ones are Romica. Really great value. I think they're 139, so less than half of the price of, of some of the Keens. Um, but they also have this little, the glass particle uh, grippies. I don't think they're actually called grippies, but <laughs> they have little glass particles built in and that really keeps your grip. Um, but these are great for any, even um, a younger child who is, has bigger feet. Not a terrible price tag, still a great boot for like playing outside necessarily. And a really nice, kind of a bit of a purple influence, really cute. Okay. All right, so then we have um, some that are a traditional, like warm, warmer boot as well. This one is a waterproof uh, Riker. We've had this a couple of different ways earlier, and this one does have a double zipper. So one, two. If you do have a um, high instep, a double zip is always a great option because you just have that little bit of ease of getting in. Oftentimes when you get in, you're fine, but it's just to kind of get, the, you're get ugh. let's try that again. It's hard because you're, sometimes you can't get your foot in is what I mean. Okay, so this one has been very good. We've already replaced it or replenished it once. Then we have another little Romica, a nylon topper, quite light, waterproof, pile lining, very warm, and a really nice grippy sole. This one comes from a 36. So even for our size five and six gals, there is lots of small sizes. Then we have our couple of Baffin that we carry every year. So this is a rated boot. Uh, this is rated to, uh, it should say on here somewhere. It doesn't, definitely says on the box. I think it's rated to minus 30 and that's your snowmobile boot. So for the snowmobile gals uh, that want to be out for six, eight hours, um, here's what the insole looks like. So it definitely has lots of great layers and also the reflective layer. So if you're thinking, you know, I want to be, I'm, snow, I'm snowmobiling up to Hecla, across the lake, whatever. So lots of, um, lots of outdoor time. The Baffin is what I'd recommend. Then there's also a nice Baffin that's really light. So this is actually a packable boot. So you could roll this right into your suitcase. Like let's say you're going on a ski trip and you're wanting something that's a little bit lighter, but still gives you lots of warmth. Um, the other one is heavy, like it's a heavy base. This one is much lighter uh, and then kind of has a nice sort of flip back, right? Uh, all padded, no, all pull on. So you, there's no, in, there's no zipper or anything. These ones are guaranteed to minus, if I can find it, I believe minus 30 as well. So in spite of the lightness, they are very warm. Uh, then we also have another Cadillac one. So this is the Neop Veil. We carry this one every year as well. It actually comes with a Neot insole in it, so exactly what you would expect, uh, which is also um, removable, if I could get it out. The regular Neot insole, I can't get it out. Anyway, um, so you can wear this. I think you can either um, 
you can kind of fold it down if you want to be fancy or like cash like that or you can just wear it up and it's nice because you can tighten right up onto your leg and the snow is not going to get in here it is nylon super lightweight waterproof and also has the spikes so there's a couple here did I, have, I don't think i've gotten to any with the spikes yet there's some more coming up with spikes and we have lots in stock with them so these guys you just flip down flip them over and then you have your little your little um tool on here to flip so if you're walking on ice 90 percent of the time you won't need the spikes when you're walking on ice um you will appreciate it yeah okay so that's that i got my one more section here what time are we at oh 744 whip through it all right so then we have a couple of new ones from Riker as well this is definitely kind of a hikery traditional style then we have also this guy with the ice um, grips on the bottom, double zip. So definitely a little bit more um, rugged looking, but a really nice um, nylon upper, easy peasy. And then the very last, uh, oh, and then I have my, my bath and hiker, I'll grab that. The very last one is kind of more of that city boot. So if you're going to the office every day, you're wanting something that you can be wear with a dress pant. It's not necessarily super warm, but it's certainly warmer than clogs, which is what I'm wearing right now. Um, this is just a really nice everyday boot. I think actually I might buy this boot myself just because oftentimes you're wearing black pants and you're just not wanting a big heavy boot, but like it's snowing, so you need something. So this is a really nice trim boot and it is on a bit of a wedge. So lots of people always look for a wedge. It's just so comfortable. So double zipper, easy. Uh, really nice supple leather and waterproof. Okay, next we have a little Riker, same type of thing. So just a nice Velcro, very easy to get on. Easy that way, a nice pile lining warm but this is not your snow shoveling boot right this is like you're going to get groceries maybe you're going out to a do and you're wearing slacks and you're wanting something that's just a little trimmer but just on like a little bit of a wedge so i think that's a nice option then on the same bottom we have two styles um on this slightly higher wedge even than those two and this is just a little decor oops a little decor um, very nice and sleek looking from the outside. And then it does have the zipper as well. So again, just a nice, easy boot for every day. And to finish us off, we have one more on that higher bottom. Um, I'm going to say not leather, leather. So price will be different, even if they're on the same bottom. Since so they're both Riker, but you can always usually tell by the price, which ones are the leather versions and which ones aren't. Um, both waterproof and side zipper. This one actually is pretty cute on, like if you're wearing it with a little trimmer pant, you can kind of see that little bit of fur. It's very cute. This is a nice option as well. Okay, so 747, we didn't do too bad considering we were um, a little bit late. So I'll just give you a little outfit tour here. Um, so last week I was wearing the green uh, moto jacket super love it when i watch the video back i'm like oh my god that is such a gorgeous color so i am uh tried the black one today and i love the black one also so i am a jacket person so it's actually been fun to kind of do a couple of different looks each week and it's i mean we're always so busy trying to get everything out that we don't often take the time to try everything ourselves so this has been really fun um i paired it with the new simply holiday tank so i don't know if you can see this one does have a little bit of a sheen to it like it's kind of a black and silver sparkle in the red the regular go-to tank so it's a little bit long for this jacket so i did kind of tuck it up a little bit just to just to give it a bit of a not so long um, and then this, these are the tribal boot cut. So same as the uh, blue jeans that I was wearing last week in the burgundy. And oh my God, they are so comfortable. I feel like I've been wearing these for my whole life. So I don't I can, probably can't see the bottom on them, but they're not super wide. Let me just move us back a little bit. 
there, maybe that's better. So they're not super wide on the bottom, but I am pairing it with that Miss Moose um, boot, cocktail boot again. Um, I like a wider leg and a higher heel. So that's just my personal preference. So if you like it with a flat, by all means, um, by all means pair it with a flat. I find for me, it, I just feel it elongates your leg a little bit to have that little bit of height at the bottom. So yeah, I think it's been kind of a cute look. I was gonna put it on with one of the winter boots and uh, and it was, and then I thought, oh, I'm gonna put the cowboy boots on. And I tried on like four pairs of boots before, <laughs> before I decided on the video. But yeah, these little cocktail Miss Moos are like, they match everything and I like, I put them on and I, well, I've been standing for an hour in them and they feel like I have been wearing them for my whole life. So yeah. Okay. Thank you so much guys for, uh, helping me with this, like the bit of ridiculousness here. Sorry about that. Um, I hopefully my tripod will turn up at, <laughs> at some point. I have probably tucked it into something and, or I did clean my office. So sometimes, you know, when you clean something, that's always a mess. You can't find anything after that. So I have a sneaking suspicion that that's probably what happened. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes. Yeah, so thank you to those who joined us last week for Blingo. Um, congratulations to our winners for um, the two gift cards for this evening. Uh, please leave us a comment. Hi, my name is. Where are you watching from? And are you watching live or on the replay for this video? And uh, that you will also be entered into our weekly draw for that. Uh, just a reminder that Blingo is sold out for this month, but the new December boxes will be available um, right after the November Blingo, which is November 15th, um, the Wednesday at eight o'clock. So uh, the best thing that I would suggest is to get on an order right away. Uh, the response we're so thankful for. So it's just been amazing. Um, and then the subscriptions will launch uh, Black Friday and the first subscription box will be February of 2024.